So today I'm going to look at this Apple charger. Now this is actually a charger I was using on my phone for many years. No short years actually this thing was manufactured, but I've had it for a long time. So I'm actually figure this out. So look. Made by Samsung, you're kidding. <laughs> Apple charger made by Samsung, who would have thought? This charger was built in 2005. So that's probably from my original iPhone, maybe iPhone 4 maybe, I'm not sure. Anyway, it has been playing up. So what's been happening is it's been basically shutting off. I'll try and get this out of here. Come on, what about? Let's do some medievalness. Right, let's get this thing open. Now these are welded shut, which is why I've got the hammer. Didn't need the hammer last time though, did you? Still cooperating. Gonna need a bigger hammer. There you go, start and move. Oh, like a spudger. Here we go. about there. This edge here is going to be a problem I think. Just over here is the problem. It's not gone here yet. Be welded around this edge I expect so that's probably what's causing the problem there. Come on. Here we go. We're in. That was easy. <laughs> That's what it's like inside. Now I already found something really interesting. Just the first thing I noticed is that this capacitor here is on a bit of a lean. So I sort of manipulated it some more. Yeah, it fell out. Now that won't be for me messing around getting the casing open. Hmm. Let's keep going. Let's get the rest of this board out somehow. This has not been powered on for quite some time, so I wouldn't worry about things like voltages. If you were messing around with a charger yourself, you need to make sure it's not potentially going to zap you because it could have charged capacitors. So that's something you have to consider is when's the last time is this thing powered up? Now this has been off for weeks so this will not have any charge left in it and it's also a decent one this means it's probably got discharge resistors and stuff in it as well whereas if you're using a cheaper charger and you're putting that apart there's a good chance that you'll find that the capacitors are still powering and you can potentially get a zap off a capacitor because it does have high voltage AC adapter by Samsung so it's basically a Samsung charger, which Apple stuck their branding on. That's funny, isn't it? Anyway, I don't expect to be anything actually wrong with this side. Because, say it was basically working, what would happen, it just randomly just shut off. It'd be charging the phone for a while, and it will shut off and stop charging. And it could just be something as simple as a bad solder joint somewhere, you know. Um, it's entirely possible the solder joint's given up. But, it's got literally capacitors in here. So it's bound to be a capacitor, isn't it? Although those aren't looking bulging at all. There's one here. It's also not looking like it's bulging. But there's also a big one down here. That's also looking fine. So there's no obvious bad caps, but it doesn't mean they're not bad. Just because they're not bulging doesn't mean that... Uh... Okay, actually maybe that has got a slight bulge on this one. Maybe it's got very slight. Yeah, just a little bit, but 
No, that could even be what's wrong, just that one capacitor. Anyway, actually this one, you now got the light on differently. That one may have a slight bulge on that one. Of course it's entirely possible this capacitor falling off is what actually caused it to play up. Because that shouldn't have fallen off the board, so it's probably bad solder joints holding this capacitor on. I mean, this filtering capacitor shouldn't really affect anything really. That's what's inside, now you know. Did you